guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another Rocks box to unbox for you guys. This is probably going to be my last Rocks box for a little bit. I just have a lot of jewelry right now and I've got some other jewelry subscriptions that I'm trying to bring to my channel that are a little bit newer and I just, I don't feel like I need this anymore for the moment. But I do really love Rocksbox. I think it's one of the best subscriptions that is out there, especially if you love jewelry. Um, it is a jewelry rental slash subscription service. So with that being said, you pay a styling fee. It's $21 a month. And for that $21, you're going to get three pieces of jewelry. It's not a matching set. You could make a matching set by adding diff like swapping your pieces out of your box. But it's just three random pieces of jewelry and you can choose to either rent those three pieces for the month or however many months you want to rent them for or you could choose to purchase items from your box and it does work a little bit similar to stitch fix where if you purchase all three you do get a discount your 21 dollars styling fee does get credited off of an item that you purchase but they've also got a tier system so the more pieces of jewelry you purchase from them the greater discount you're going to get. So I think I'm at like a rose gold level, so I get a certain percentage off if I buy, you know, one piece versus two pieces versus all three pieces in the box. So that's pretty cool. When you sign up, you do fill out a little profile where it asks you, you know, which tones of jewelry do you want? Do you prefer studs only or would you be open to dangly pieces? Uh, what's your ring size? Just different things like that. And then when you sign up, you can add things to your wish list, like scroll through and see all the pieces they've got available and add them to your wish list. And your stylist will go ahead and throw three pieces in your box. They'll send you an email that says, hey, preview your box. I highly encourage you to preview your box. Even if you, I, I guess, I don't know. I sometimes wanna be surprised, but my mom, for instance, she's not a grandma. She didn't preview her box and she got a necklace that said grandma. And it, I don't think it, had anything to do with like because you do tell them your age and stuff I don't think it had anything to do with that I think it was just a weird coincidence but anyways when you preview your box you do have the option to swap pieces in and out so you could say oh I don't want that and swap it for an item that's on your wish list or something else you can also put notes to your stylist as well um, I don't do that I just kind of see what my stylist throws in there and swap pieces out as I go along with it and feel it but it's really great and they do have some higher end brands for jewelry like Kate Spade, Kendra Scott, different things like that. So I think it's a really great company. When your box does come in the mail, it does come in a little bubble mailer. You do want to save this because at the end of the month or whenever you're done renting your pieces, that's how you send it back. So inside here are all of my jewelry pieces and a shipping label. So when I'm done, I'll just mail this box back. And their turnaround time is insane. Way back last year, I had put up like three or four videos in a month just because I wanted to see what the turnaround time was like for the rocks box. And when you send it back, excuse me, nearly immediately, they'll already be working on your other box. So it, the turnaround time is amazing. With that, let's dive in. While I open this up, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. It means the world to me. If you like this one, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, feel free to hit subscribe. And so, like I said, here is <clears throat> on the front, it's a layout of all the pieces I got, all of my discounts, etc. The back is my shipping label that when I'm ready to send this stuff back, I'll slap it on that box. And it looks like we've got a Kendra Scott piece a Kate Spade piece and something rocks box. So let's go ahead with the Kendra Scott one first. Okay, this is by the brand Kendra Scott, of course. It's their Jovi beaded strand necklace in white pearl and this is $120. And it came super nicely packaged. So that is what that looks like. It is a shorter necklace. It's gonna go super great with what I have on right now. I have a pearl 
necklace that's like real pearls, but it's not like doing the best. It's kind of like dingy and dirty because I wore it a lot when I was in high school. So that is what that necklace looks like. And you could make it looser or tighter. I just kind of clipped it anywhere in the middle of the strand. So super nice. Is it worth $120 in my opinion? No, I don't know. I guess I don't know the quality of the pearls, if they're real or not. I would have to know. All right, up next, our little Kate Spade bag. I love Kate Spade. It's like my favorite. I love their clothes. I love their purses. I have several Kate Spade bags. Oh, I know why I picked this. Okay. So <clears throat> this is the Kate Spade on the dot line bracelet and it is $98. And that is what it looks like. So it's a little tiny bracelet that's got all these dangly little colored um, charms on it. And the reason I picked it, oops, let's go this other way. I'm gonna put it on. After I put this on, I'm gonna take my anklet off and I'll show you my anklet. So ignore this gold one here, but here is that one. Super cute. Like this is from, I think this is from my, my slide jewelry box, but you could totally layer the two together. And then my anklet that I've got is from Rock's Box. I bought it from a different box, but this is what my anklet looks like. It's, um, let me clip it together. It looks like literally identical to this Kate Spade thing. See the two? It's got colored beads and stuff. They're not, they're not beads, little things. Very similar. So I liked this. I'm, I've am i never been a gold jewelry person, like literally ever. Um, and I'm slowly like opening up to it, I think. I guess I just didn't really like how it looked with my skin tone. Um, Cause I've always, I guess as I've gotten older, I'm more into like self tanning and stuff like that now. So I have a little bit like more of a brown or an olivey skin tone. Prior to that, I never liked it cause I thought like I had just a lighter tone skin that looked better with silver. Anyway, last but not least, the Rocks Box bag. Okay. Oh, these are huge. Oh my God. These are by Slate, and they're the Keegan Hoops in gold and clear cubic zirconia. They are $55, and they are ginormous. <laughs> They've got like split in the, so it's like kind of two hoops. Note to self, so when I scroll through the Rocks Box available pieces, I literally just see like a picture of the piece. If you swipe on that piece, you will see a photo of it on a person. I never look at the photos on the person and that's why this happens to me. I had a separate pair of earrings that I thought were like just based on the small photos, they looked huge. And then I got them like in the mail and they were like this big. And then there was a pair of like a pearl style earrings from Kate Spade that I really wanted. I thought they were a regular size pearl and I got them and they were ginormous. So you can tell the sizing if you swipe on the photos and look at the photo of someone on a, the jewelry on a model. I'm just lazy. <laughs> These are huge. Okay. Wow. way too big for me. All right. I mean, they don't look bad. 
they're just like kind of they're kind of big okay so to kind of wrap it all up what just fell oh the back just fell off this earring okay we got the earrings this necklace and then this Kate Spade bracelet, which is $98. I really like can't condone spending $98 on a bracelet, but I feel like I need to have it because it matches my anklet. Not that I need to have them matching, but like, come on. So nice. I actually really like this. There is a necklace too that Kate Spade has on the Rocks Box website. That looks exactly like this, but it's a necklace. So if you guys want to try Rocks Box, I do have a code for you guys down below. It is a referral link. It helps my channel out, but it also helps you out because I believe you get your first month's styling fee waived. So you don't have to pay the $21, but they give you $21 credit. So it works out in your favor. So if you want to sign up, give that one a go. And with that, see you guys next time.